They tell me that I'm never gonna make it. They want me to do something that can make sense. King Harold, King's Roulette, King's Club. We're gonna go a little bit uh, uh, far, uh, further into the uh, dozen selects the columns, column selects the dozens. We're gonna use $5 units starting at $20. We're gonna go up two units on losses, down one unit on wins. We've got a buy-in of $1,000. We're going to make $150, 15%. We've got a black even number, puts us on dozens one and two at Puts us on columns one and two, rather. It doesn't select in the column. Black even is supposed to be on dozens one and two. Okay, $20. Dozens one and two. Kick it off. We're going for $150. And that $20, we're going to go up to 30 right now. We've got a 36 red, which... Uh, even number takes us over to columns one and two for thirty dollars. <laughs> and the seventeen black is a black odd number, puts us to dozens one and three. We're gonna stay at thirty dollars because we didn't recover. Dozens one and three. <laughs> Thirty dollars. And we're going up to fifty dollars on the the black even number, dozens one and two. <laughs> From the even number. We've got a red three, that's an odd. Puts us over to columns one and three, checking the status. We're going to go down to 30. Columns one and three, $30. I messed that up. I should have stayed right there. So I will stay right there now with that 12. I was supposed to go down $5. Uh, we have a... Uh, an odd red number, which gives us columns one and three, so I'll stay at $30. Um, the next loss will go up 20, on the next win will go down five. Okay, so the red 14 is columns one and two for $50. to seventy dollars red even columns one and two still red even number and we're going to repeat that bet at seventy you would go down to sixty five Black odd number takes us to the dozens one and three at sixty-five dollars. The red odd takes us to sixty dollar bet on columns one and three. $60 bet comes one and three. That's a red odd number. It's going to keep us on columns one and three for $55. Being precise, getting the bookkeeping right, trying not to upset the angel. $55 columns one and three. We're going to go to $75. That's an odd black, which is dozen one and three for $75. 
And that red one is an odd. We're going to go $70, columns one and three. That's a $70 win. So we're going to go back down to $20, $40. Okay, so we will go down $5 from there. And that is a $65 bet on the red even as columns one and two. Just going down $5, not plummeting to the basement. $65, columns one and two. And that's a $65 win. Well, we're going to go to $60. That's a red five is an odd. Columns one and three. $65. No, it was supposed to be $60. let us get it right. $60, columns one and three. There we go, spin. Now we're going to go to $80 right here. Now we'll get it right, $70 on columns one and three. There we go. So on a $70 win, we're going to go down $5 to $65, and that's going to stay on columns one and three. And that's a $160 profit, a little bit above the 15%. Didn't seem to be uh, very difficult to win it, although it did seem to be difficult for me to do my math and keep subtracting, and I did it adding, but I am from the South, so forgive me for that. Um, so that's what I got the angel here for, so he can uh, cue me along the way. This was an excellent way to play it, and, and uh, I think we have solved the riddle with the suggestions we got from uh, from the kingdom of moving up units and then uh, moving down one unit on the winds and not plummeting to the basement go ahead and take the money because we're going to hit you're going to hit the numbers you got you got 24 numbers every time so we're going to keep fine-tuning this till we're delivering it just as uh, those that have suggested this to us and anything that you need from me if I, if, I, if i've missed an email i apologize if i have if i have misdirected something please shake me up because i'm here for you and uh, I will respond and get it done, whatever it is. Uh, there's a lot, there's voluminous emails, there's a lot for me to try to keep track of, but I do uh, feel my own responsibility to you to, to be responsive. And so if I miss you one time, shake me up, say, hey, King, what the heck? And uh, I will respond again and direct me how I can best serve you because I am here for you. You're not here for me. This is a pleasure for me. I thank you all so very much. And we have had another great day of making money at a game that hardly anybody can make money at. But we do because we're precise, because we've got an algorithm, because we stand fast with our bankroll and our buy-in. We have our patience and our discipline, and we have humility about what we do. For now, the king bids you adieu.